Bye bye. Hello, hello. Welcome to Science Be Honest channel. This morning we're going to um community yard sale. This is the time of year to find those hidden treasures, um, to find some great decor to put outside as well as on the inside of your house. If you are a first home buyer or you're getting your own place for the first time, this is what you want to do. You want to shop yard sales because you're going to find some very unique pieces. And then not only that, you're going to get it for a fraction of the cost. And a lot of times when you go see these yard sales, they just want to get rid of this stuff. So therefore, you may get it for a couple of dollars. We're going to go and see what we're going to find. We're running late. Anytime you want to sell yard sale, always go early. Because the early bird Look. truly catches the worm, Look. as they would say. So that means that you're going to get the better deals, the great finds, for little to nothing. It is now 11 o'clock. We should have been out at 8 o'clock. But messing around with ladies. They ain't never on time you for that. You ain't never on time. Oh, another thing you want to do, whenever you go on yard sale shopping, go ahead and That's go by the bank or, uh, this ain't yours, baby. This ain't yours. I want you to go by the bank and get you some ones. I always set a certain amount of money aside that you want to spend at a yard sale and try to stick to that budget or that certain amount of money that you have set aside. Now, let me say this. Whenever you're going to a yard sale, always be in that negotiation mode. Don't be so quick to say, okay, this is what you're selling it for. I'm going to take it. Negotiate because the, the main purpose or the reason that they're, they're having a yard sale is because they want to get rid of this stuff but when you go to the next yard sale you can find some other great pieces but i'm gonna show you how to do it let's go ahead and take a ride on the other side look y'all we was riding right Lady time i uh let the window down because caitlin had his own fleet i told him no hell it ain't his own flight ready to crash if you can see this girl hair, you this child either got a she either got a nerve condition or they drive her damn crazy in the house because she don't pluck all of her hair out on one side. One side of Caitlin house, she ain't got no on one side of her head, she ain't got no hair. None. So we had to watch her at nighttime because she would put that hand in the back of her head and go to work. She gets sleepy. Yes. I'm gonna have to do a tutorial on how to glue some hair to a, a newborn. It is so beautiful today. Try to get Deja to come. Deja is not no shop. I don't care where you go. You go to the yard sale across the street. Deja is not a shopper. Well, yeah, go ahead and get them coins together so you can go find some deals at a yard sale. But that's not going to work. It's making like an echo sound with that uh, window down. The air, you feel the air now? You feel the She got her headset on. We'll know she feel the air knock here because she gonna say something for this one up. Yeah. What I tell you about driving, when you driving, you better say a prayer before you start your car. Wait, what I need you to do is get you a mount because you can't vlog and drive. This is dangerous. Why the hell you say that on camera? They said don't text and damn drive. They said I can record this and drive. This is holding a camera. You only need one hand on the steering wheel. Oh, Lord help us, Jesus. Who drive, Elizabeth? Who drive with two hands on the steering wheel? Me. That's the safety. Yeah, because you can't see that good. Yes, I can't. I got glasses. I think I can't see either, but still. Yeah. That's why when people lose control of their wheel, try to be cool around with one hand. That's why God gave you two. Shit. Uh, uh, uh. I did all this damn recording. Y'all ain't heard nothing I said. But yeah, whenever time you have a yard sale, always long get your items because you want it to be inviting for a customer, a potential customer, to come into your yard to purchase something. When you have everything cramped up towards the base of your house, how are all these people going to get uh, close to your house to see what's going on without waiting until some of the people clear out? So you don't want to do it that way. So when I said long gauge, you want to say, if you have a driveway, you want to start from one side to the other, bring all your items out and lay them down, have tables, that helps. When I was doing yard sale, I set my place up like a store. I had it going down the sidewalks as well as my driveway on tables and just like bigger items was the, um, the bigger items was the main attraction that drew you in. So I put those on the sidewalk. And when a customer came, I had the 
the correct change I had enough change because I went to the bank before and you know requested for some change some coins and some one dollar bills to make sure that I had change to give them because I knew they was gonna come to bargain or negotiate try to negotiate you know what they wanted at a certain price so I was able to accommodate them with change as well as bags to put their items in but yeah this yard sale sucks Ooh, I don't think so well y'all thought we was gonna find something today but it looked like if you could see this community it, it is a large community and only we have seen only three or four people with the yard sale and they have every up towards the base of their house i don't want to go to the base of your house i don't want to feel like i'm coming inside of your house i want to just um come to your yard and not feel as though i'm obligated to buy something and that's what what you're doing when you just have it at the base come on in to, to get with this leftover mm -mm, i ain't doing that You don't want to do. You see how that is? That's what you don't want to do. Oh, man. Let's see. Huh? Whatever. Okay, because so we're going to go ahead and stop at this yard so and see what they have because. Hell, I don't see but three people in the whole subdivision. Look like they're having a yard sale. This is a trip. Oh, this is my Reebok. That's nice. That is nice. You have the exercise bench, which is that time of year people want to go ahead and start exercising. This is nice. How much are you asking for this? Hi, how you doing? Good, good. Uh, we're coming by uh, 30 bucks. Not a bad price, $30. Is there anything wrong with it? No. Mm -mm. It's pretty sturdy. It is. Okay. Name brand, too. Mm -hmm. You were trying to fix it one time. <laughs> okay. It's well the electronic part That is cute. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. That's fine. That is cute. Oh, look at this. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> Yeah, I remember that. Okay, thank you. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. We don't use it. We don't use it. Oh my goodness. So did it not that many people participated? No. Mm. Which is sad. They put up yeah. those signs and then people come into some Fayetteville. They're like, is this it? You know, they don't yeah. live in the community. I think I've seen so far four. Really? Oh, really? Okay. Uh -huh. That's it. You, you went on the corner and they got their stuff so far in the garage. But people don't realize when you have a yard sale, yeah. you want to loan gauge your stuff. Yeah, absolutely. So it feels inviting to come up. Yeah. I don't want to come up in your driveway and got to right. come in your garage. Right. Uh -huh. yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. Mm -hmm. So did y'all start early? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And we sold some things. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 That's good. That's yeah, but you know, it it, uh, it would seem like it would be a lot more, you know, participant. Yeah. 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 We just went to another one over. I'm trying to think of the name of that road. Is that our 42 Lake Haven? Okay. I think Lake Haven had theirs twice a year. Okay. And I was surprised to see there wasn't that many people at theirs. And they used to normally have police escort because oh, it's, wow. it's just that large. Really? Wow. And they would have some good, good stuff. But oh, this wow. year, nobody really participated. That's good. Mm -hmm. 
like if y'all said the camera, and nobody recording stuff anymore, I guess, you know. Well, they haven't been to my house, so. <laughs> <laughs> I need to have me yeah, one too. One. <laughs> I need to have one too. <laughs> yes. Well, okay. And the refrigerator, how much is that one? Darian, how much is the refrigerator? Uh, how much do you want it for? <laughs> oh, what? Oh, Lord. I just, I don't need it, but I just. Oh, okay. Good semester. <laughs> I don't have several of them. I just want to show people how to shop. That's nice. Mm -hmm. Do you see that? That's nice to put in your room. All right. Well, thank you. I really didn't need anything. I just want to look around. Thank you. Uh huh. Uh huh. I want to walk over there, but Lord knows, I I just don't feel like it. I think we're gonna go on and head back in to. Go ahead, back in. I ain't see anything. Head back there to the house. Okay, we're back, people. We're back. He had a that little bike thing over there. He said he was gonna sell it for thirty dollars. His wife said, you gonna sell it for 30? She said, um, it don't work. He said, yes it does, it works. She said, no it don't. So you, you only gonna sell it for $30? Come on, come on, you either coming in or you going out. Which one you gonna do? Which one you gonna do? And then the young guy had a mini refrigerator. You know, I had several of those, so. This one went to college. Yeah, he said he was in college. How much you want to buy it for? He was selling it for 30. Come on, baby. This is a yard sale. You could be talking about no $30. $30 is not the magic number for your yard sale. $30 here, 30 Oh, we well, ain't got no gas, girl. Let's get the sauce on the side. Let's go. Oh, There's yeah. on two at first. I'm like, what? Okay, so we it, this yard sale, this community yard sale was not successful. So we're going to just ride around. If we come across anything else, we're going to stop and see what's going on. We're gonna see can we find some individual yard sales because right now, um, like I said, large as the subdivision is, they should have had more participants and they didn't really have a whole lot of people participating in this yard sale. Um, go ahead and take a break. I don't do what you gotta do. Let me go get some gas and we are gonna ride out again. So um, stay right there by the phone. I'm gonna call you and let you know when I'm gonna pick you back up. I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay, so we found another subdivision to come in. It's this Creekside Estate. You gotta get that down. Creekside Estate. See, I need my thing. This is a nice subdivision. It's real nice. Look at him walking that dog. Yard sale. How you having a yard sale in your garage? can't do that. Not garage sale, it's a yard. Put it in yard. Now this is now this is a little bit better. How they're doing theirs. Did we come into subdivision with Miss Betty? Oh, that's a ping pong table. Now this one is a little bit better because they have it spread out. I don't need that. Oh, look at that dog. That dog's cool. Yeah, it is. Let's get out. Okay, so it looks like we found a better yard sale to come to. They have everything spaced out where you don't have to really just go inside of their garage, which is better. I love this. This is nice. That's nice. Mama. I'm not going $25, but it's nice. Let's see what else they have to offer. Look, they have the movies. I like the jars, those are cute. They don't have the top, but these are cute. That's cute. I like those. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I think I'm gonna buy those two jars I see over there because I really like those. Really, really like those. Look at this. This is nice. I 
Oh, that is nice to put in your kitchen. Yep. Okay, ladies, for those of you who collect jewelry, this is what I found so far. And this, I like how she has this on here. Look at these. These are my cufflinks. Three dollars. Cufflinks. Mm -hmm. And you know, this is nice for the summertime. When you're out and about and you don't want to take a full size purse, you can have this little hand clutch. That's nice, and it's only one dollar. Let's see, can we open that up? The lady's in the car, so I can't do a whole lot by myself. Yeah, I think I made. Oh, she put it up there for me. Good. I thought somebody had got my jars already. I was like, oh my goodness. Oh, look at this. If you're getting started for the first time, I just found this Panasonic web camera. And then it has a CD with it as well. And it comes in this great travel case. And look, like it has some additional stuff attached to it as well. Let's see. Yeah, it does. I guess that's the battery pack. Okay, so let me go to the car and get some money. We're going to come back and we're going to purchase the two jars that I, I saw earlier. And then I'm looking across and I see something else I may want at another yard sale. So, yeah, let's go to the car. I'm going to go get some cash. I'll be right back. Let's go get some cash. I love that dog, but I just don't want to pay 25 for it. I love this. Love, love, love this piece. Oh, and I love that. This is a really, really nice neighborhood. Okay, I just came over to this yard sale. I see something potentially I may want to purchase. That's five dollars. That's nice. That's nice. Uh, hey, how you doing? See what I'm talking about? You said vacuum cleaning is only five dollars. Pretty good. No, you know I never can get enough of traveling cases. Let's see if it's not messed up too bad. To put my supplies and stuff in when I'm on the road. I'm trying to think. That's nice. What the hell? This is a nice size area rug. There's two of them. One is circular, and one is a circle, and the other is a rectangle. That's nice. Can I open this right quick? Because I may get this. Okay, so here's a yard sale that has a lot of kids' items. So if you have your first baby or grandbaby, this is a nice place to come. Just clean it up real good. Yeah. And can you believe? Hey, how you doing? Do you see that scroll? It's only ten dollars. Oh my goodness. That's nice. I like this. Oh, we got stuff, but that's I see. All we got. <laughs> I see. That's a nice chair. Sometimes you don't need the same. That would be nice at a countertop. This is real nice. And it swivels. That's nice. Oh, 
This is one of those body harness that you put the baby in. That's a body harness, but you put the baby inside of, and it's twelve dollars. This, this is still brand new. That is still brand new. Still brand new. All right, let me go tell lady how much this. Uh, I like the Jeep too. Look at the Jeep. That's 40. That is so cute for a little princess. Not a whole lot, but since I'm out of the car, I might as well just go ahead and see what's going on. But yeah, that was a neighboring stroller for ten dollars. Ten dollars. Mm -hmm. She has. Oh, look at there! Look at the lunchbox. In good condition. It's a game, but I would use it as a lunchbox. I would get that for Deja, but she has so many different lamps. And every time I turn around, she is uh, breaking the lights. Uh, what is that back there? Oh, lights. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How you doing? I'm good in yourself. Okay, ladies. Really? How much you asking for it? Okay. That's pretty good. Okay, ladies. Father's Day is coming up pretty soon. And look what I just came across. A fishing rod. Hello. How you doing, good. How are you? Alright. How much would something like this cost? Well, that rod? That rod? Uh -huh. Okay. That's oh. a $100 reel to show Oh, okay. And then you have the kit, the kit box come with it, I guess. Is this a kit box that comes? I saw that in it. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's nice. Really, really nice. Actually, the reel is uh, the reel is shelf cost hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. The pole is shelf is fifty dollars, forty nine ninety nine. Mm hmm. That's a good deal. I know that's <laughs> and you look like you're a fisherman. You I like to fish. I see. <laughs> I know that's right. I don't know nobody to fish though, but I think all men like to fish. So how, what time did they start this yard sale? Because we just stumbled upon it. We start eight this morning. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I'm see. Can I hit some more? And just browse. Thank you All so right. much. Have a good day. Mm -hmm. Hi. Hi. How you doing? Here goes some small pieces. That's cute. You know, we don't have really. How much is this picture? Five dollars. Put the little girls on it. Seven. I said seven. Oh, okay. Seven. Mm -hmm. That's nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Summertime is here. Look at here. These are cute. Seven. Darn, that's too small. Yeah, that's probably like. And these are all these brand new. Okay. And the little, I don't know anybody with a baby. Okay. That's a cute. What size are those? A one. How much? Are, how much are you asking? Twelve dollars. Mm -hmm, that's mm -hmm. nice. Mm -hmm, that's a nice, and they got the. Is that the footies? Uh, that's toy? the um the um pacifier hook. Oh, isn't yeah. that cute? Brand new. Uh mm huh. -hmm. Brand new. Record price thirty five. She's only asking twelve. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That is nice. So y'all been at this all day? Good. I did eight and it's over with it too. Okay. Mm -hmm. We do it every year. Oh. Mm -hmm. So you can't in this subdivision you can't have one on your own. You have to do it with the you community. have to do it with the HOA. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh okay. Mm -hmm. Oh I don't see these. Oh 
Oh, ain't got no big foot. She got a 12. Oh. Oh. This is very unique and different. You know what? That's the last thing I really want. I got a garage. <laughs> I got a garage full of that. Oh, I know. A garage full of that. Yeah. I guess this is this. Does it swerve around this way? Somewhere? This is the last swerve. Okay. And then that one over there. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, thank you. I thought we would stop and look at some flowers while we're out as well. That's so beautiful. That's so beautiful. Somebody has a green thumb. Look at these flowers. Oh my goodness, look how beautiful that is. Oh my goodness. I mean, it's so beautiful, you would not think that is real. That was so beautiful. Hi, how you doing? Yeah. How much are the ferns? They're different prices. Mm -hmm. You got your real big fern that's $19.99. That is worth it too. Then you got uh, this fern here, which is $14.99. Mm -hmm. $12.99. And it, I smell some fresh fruits. Do y'all? I, I wish you could smell this. I smell fresh fruits. I can. I'm outside. I'm outside of the stores, and I can smell the fresh fruits. Mmm. Smells so good. So very good. Look at the watermelons. Oh my goodness. Yeah, some cut in here too. Really? I'll be in one second. Beautiful, especially this. I love those colors. These are your different herbs and, and peppers. Do you see those peppers? Tomato plants. So what kind of and this is a mint plant look at there oh my goodness this 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 really reminds me when I was growing up and used to have places like this that you would sell the fresh fruits and you could smell it as you're coming inside. Everything looks so delicious. Let me let you take a look. Oh my goodness. good up in here and then they have all the preservatives and the jams and stuff we my my grandmother used to make jams and put them in jars like this here and this is no sugar added no they make their own 
spreads. Isn't that nice? Now, I've never seen this before. Look at this. This is honeybee pollen. You learn something new when you find stores like this. What can this be used for? In yellow, I never heard of this before. Yellow root tea. Bee pollen is not really fragrant, just like the honey knot. Everyone says it's good for allergies. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to be the best thing for allergies. Oh, really? Especially if you're moving from out of state into this state. Uh -huh. It's like if your allergies are so immune to certain areas, that helps you get accustomed to the, a different area. Is that honey? Uh huh. No, I've the pollen. The honey bee hunt. I've heard the same thing. Really? What about the? It's really guaranteed to be proven. It's right. just what's been passed down over the years. So okay. I think whatever, like blooming things that would give you, make, make your allergies trigger. Uh huh. The bee has got that in there. Okay. And you get used to it because you're consuming it instead of breathing it. Okay. I mean, you see stuff like this in peels, but to see it in its natural mm -hmm. raw form is it's even better. It's basically the same thing with the yellow root. Like the yellow root, I was reading on Google, and it's only bad to the Indians. It's basically their antibiotic. This right here? Yeah. The tea? And you just drink it straight? Yeah. Uh, it says uh, you can mix with, or drink four ounces, but you can mix it with whatever you like. Oh, okay. Oh, and I really remember this. Yeah, this is this white dirt? Yeah. We used to go to the corner store and buy this when I was a little girl. We used to eat the white dirt. Yes, we did. Yeah. White dirt is just one of the old folk. It is. Nothing's proven with that though. It's just some people started craving after it's long. It says on because it's the same. It's supposed to be like a novel you get, but a lot of people still do. We used to, I used to eat it when I was a kid. I tried it. That one up there. You don't like it? Hey. All right. Say your name. Say your name. Everything looks so fresh as if it just come out of a garden. Do you see that cabbage? Now I'm getting hungry. Ah, look at tomatoes. This would be good fried, fried green tomatoes. That would be good. You don't have any business cards? Okay. Yes, okay. Thank you so much. I make sure I put it. It smells good. So thank you. Okay, so we're just leaving Shades Produce. And when I told you you're getting freshness here. Lots of water. I'm going to put the information down below so if you live in the area, you can come by and check them out. Look at this. That looks nice. So I hope you've enjoyed the time we've shared together and coming out to find treasures because you know they was hidden all over the place. And this is one of the places that I found to be a treasure as well. I'm going to make sure that I come on back down to buy some fruits, vegetables, and some plants for the summertime. So. I hope you enjoyed the time we've shared together. Until next time, be blessed.